so I'm Lori Frick. I'm an artist and I live here in Austin, Texas and I live part-time in Brooklyn, New York. Well, I, I make work based on uh, data. So it's data that's turned into, you know, handmade patterns. And it's, it's this notion that patterns of you have meaning. You can start to understand who you are, right? This whole question of who am I? Maybe my data is the secret, right? It's a way to figure it out. So I think it works conceptually about this moment in time, big data, privacy, m measuring yourself, surveillance. You know, is, is somebody measuring you? Or are you measuring yourself? What will happen? There's definitely uh, a sense of the thought process, how um, one thing leads to another, and the visualization of information that seem, there seem to be common threads um, running throughout the three artists' work. For me, in my work, uh, it's, it's a mix of writing and visuals. So, uh, and for me, writing is visual. My hope is to get someone to actually spend time with a work, and if there's a story in it, um, to me, that's more that's that's interesting, right? Um, there's a story you could get into as long as it's written in a way that would want you to keep reading it. Usually, people spend two seconds in front of a piece of art, but if someone has to, if someone reads something, that's going to take ten minutes, and that's fantastic. Well, what's different is that they they're not necessarily just like a piece of abstract art. They're functioning as a container of memory. At first, you know, the work that you're seeing in the gallery at first wasn't even for anyone else to see. It was just for me to be able to communicate. Now that there is an art audience that sees this work, it's really, it's still very much a way of communicating between me and an audience, but ultimately it's still much more about a communication between me and myself. I think it really shows the inner workings of an artist more than a lot of shows particularly could. That's really cool, you know, because I think you do all this research in school and all this information. And it's like, how does that then become this thing that defines you? Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, I would like to think that this exhibition would like kind of be empowering that way, that you could see that like not everything is like, like if you look at this, it may not be what you thought it was at all.